G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is the midpoint formula. Uh, just another thing when you're looking at linear equations that might come up. Uh, really, really simple to use. Okay, so I'll launch straight into it. So say you had two points on a linear equation or two points on a Cartesian plane. The first one we're going to put out is minus 3, minus 2. And we're going to have another point at 4, 5. Okay, so we'll plot those first. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to try and find the middle point between these. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean by this. So minus 3, minus 3, minus 2 is just here. 4, 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 5 is going to be just here. So if I was to draw a line in between these, okay, so I'll draw a line in between these. And what the middle point formula finds is if we were to try and find the middle point between these two points, where exactly would it be? Okay, so this is a really, really simple thing how to do. And the way I think about this, without thinking about a formula so much, is I think what we're after is we're after an x, y value. So the first thing we're going to be after is the x value. So the middle between these two x values, between minus 3 and 4. So minus 3 and 4. If we want to find out the point between these, what we do is we add them together and we divide by 2. So minus 3 plus 4 is 1, divided by 2 is half. And that's going to be our x value, is at half here. The y value, we've got one point here which is at minus 2 and another one which is at 5. So minus 2 and 5 and we're going to work out the average between these ones as well. Okay, so minus 2 plus 5 is 3. This is 3 over 2, which is equal to 1 and a half. So, our x, y values, and I'll write them down here, is half, 1 and a half. Okay? What the midpoint formula is basically saying is you get the two x values, and you divide the, you add them together, divide by 2, and then you get the two y values, add them together, divide by 2, and you get your x, y midpoint value. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. But I'll tell you what, I'll go through another example. So okay, let's just go through one more example. Uh, I'll draw a line going down this way. We'll have a midpoint between the points of uh, minus 3, uh, call that 3. Yeah, we'll work the way that as it in a second. And we'll call this one down here um, 2 minus 4. Okay? So let's plot these first. Okay, so we have minus 3 and 3, which is just here. And we have 2, and we're going to go down 4. So to join these up, boom, 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 we are going to work out the midway point between these. Okay, so once again, this is going to be an x, y value. So let's do this. The x, first let's have a look at those. We have uh, minus 3 and we have 2, so I'm going to add those two together, divide by 2, and for the y, I've got 3 and minus 4, so I'm going to add those two together, or 3 plus minus 4, which is the same as 3 minus 4 over 2, and they're going to give us our x, y value, so um, minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 over 2, and that's our x value, so minus a half, and 3 minus 4 is minus 1, over 2 is minus a half. So our point's going to be minus half, minus half. That's our x, y value there. Okay? And that's how you work out the midpoints. It's really simple, right? The midpoint formula. Really basic. It's basically working out average between the x's and then for the y's. That's all it is. Anyway, hopefully that video was uh, informative for you. I'll see you next time. Bye.